grabbed her as she was coming out of her seminar before anyone else could grab her and your seminar was creating a great documentary yeah. so tell me a little bit about your seminar awesome it was a lot of fun we had a full house it was so fun it was great um, it was mostly about focusing on how to choose a camera package should I look at you or wherever you like <laughs> it was mostly about uh, choosing the right camera lighting package for your documentary and asking all the right questions to actually get yourself to that point to choose the right tools so we had a great discussion and we went through some examples and bits of storytelling always helped with that. And then I took the group out onto the floor and we looked at all kinds of different you know, new technology and things like that to introduce them to things that are possible and smaller you know, for traveling or smaller for smaller budgets and things like that um, and, and focus on that kind of market. And it was really good. People, people responded very well. And that's the one thing I love because like I said, when I went to grab you from the seminar, you were busy because you're yeah. taking your group out and actually showing them what VizTech has right. and what there is on the floor to go and That's see. Right. And yeah. I like that because it's more hands-on and it shows that you care and that you want to help. It's great. Yeah, and they had a lot of fun and really enjoyed meeting the different dealers and things like that on the floor. Um, and yeah, so it was, it was good. <laughs> well, good. I like that. Keep doing that. Okay. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. Obviously, sure. you are in cinematography. Yeah. yeah. And you're a photographer and you're a female, which I love. <laughs> Breaking into that. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I've been in the Toronto film industry for about 15 years. So I started out as a camera assistant and before that I went to college, uh, studied radio and television broadcasting. But before that, I was always interested in still photography, even as a child. Uh, and so it really sort of stemmed from still photography all the way up. Um, and into that, I started to get into TV commercials, actually, um, as a camera assistant, wow. uh, sort of through my, my advancement career and things, and always shooting my own projects here and there on the side and stuff, but it, within the industry, you kind of have to climb the ladder a little bit, exactly. and um, have worked at a few different rental houses, so I learned the inside as well as the outside and stuff, so that's been really helpful for technology understanding in my career. And now I shoot, I'm a director of photography, a cinematographer, and I, one of my specialties is underwater cinematography. Um, and I, I love nature and wildlife and natural lighting. I do a lot of documentary. I also do factual entertainment, and so it's more reality sort of stuff. But I'm also getting into narrative. I love uh, fiction, and the thing with narrative is sometimes you have more opportunity to light more and, and create mood with lights. and. You know, you get sort of different looks and things like that. Sometimes with factual or documentary, you end up moving so quickly, you're keeping up with the, the subject because it's a real life subject. So you're kind of, you don't have time to light the something like you would light for Lord of the Rings or something exactly. like that. You only have a little bit of time. So it's a totally different mindset for the two worlds. Uh, and I love both of them. And I just like knowing lots of different technical stuff and, and putting it to work. It's fun.